In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the Fortnite Crash Reporter DirectX error. So if you have a message on your screen, saying that if you have experienced multiple crashes with the DirectX 12 rendering mode beta, consider switching it to DirectX 11. Or if it says something slightly different, but it does have DirectX in the message, then this is how you can fix that error. But before we get started, I will also pop a link in the description below to our website where we may have more methods that I didn't mention in this video as we have come across other things that you can do to fix this issue. So it's definitely worth checking that out after this video if the methods didn't help. So the first thing that you need to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go to device manager. Next, you need to expand display adapters and as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the NVIDIA website and then download the driver for that graphics card. I will pop links in the description below to AMD, NVIDIA and Intel, where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. I will also pop links on how you can install the latest driver for your GPU as well, if you're not too sure on how you can do that. So once you've updated your graphics card, the next thing that we want to do is update DirectX. So there's two ways of doing this. The first way is through Windows Updates, which we can do by right clicking on the Start Menu icon and going to Settings. You then need to click on Update and Security, and you then need to click on the Check for Updates button. Once Windows has downloaded and installed all the updates, you then need to click on the DirectX link in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You then need to scroll down and you now need to select your language. Once you're happy, press download. We then need to run the setup file that just downloaded. You then need to agree to the terms. If you do, press I accept and then go next. You can then choose if you want to install the Bing bar or not. I don't actually want to, so I'm going to untick that and then press next again. It will now check to see if there are any new DirectX files available for your computer. If it does detect any, it will then download and install them. As you can see, it has detected that I have the latest DirectX installed, which is absolutely fantastic. So I can now go ahead and press finish. So now that you have updated your graphics card, DirectX and also Windows, go ahead and launch Fortnite and see if that fixed the issue you were having with the DirectX error. If that didn't help fix the error, then the next thing that we need to do is open up the Epic Games Launcher. Once open, you then need to select your profile icon in the top right hand corner and you then need to go to settings. Next, we need to scroll all the way down until you find Fortnite. You then need to expand Fortnite and you now need to tick this option here that says additional command line arguments and we then need to click into the box and type D3D and then 1-1. One, one. So this is going to tell Fortnite to run in DirectX 11 mode. Once you put that in, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that fixes the issue. If that still didn't fix the problem, then the next thing we need to do is open up File Explorer. Once File Explorer is open, click in the top address bar and you then need to do the percentage symbol and type in local app data and you then need to do the percentage symbol again and press enter. Next, we need to scroll down until we find Fortnite game and open up this folder. You then need to go into the save folder and we now need to open up the config folder and then Windows client. You will now see a game user settings. So within this file has all your Fortnite settings. So as you can see, there's lots of different graphic settings and stuff in here. What we're going to do is actually rename this file. So Fortnite recreates all the default settings just in case you have made an adjustment to one of the game settings that's causing the issue. So you simply right click on this file and go rename and then at the end of it put BK and then press enter. Now launch Fortnite and see if that fixed the issue. You will need to also change some of your graphics settings and other settings within the game as we just reset them. If that didn't resolve the issue then you can always right click on this file again and go rename and just name it back and delete the new one that got created so you don't have to go through and change all your settings again. So the next thing to do to fix this issue is to open up the Epic Games Launcher again. And once open, go to your library and you then need to find Fortnite and click on the three dots. And you then need to select Manage. And you now need to click on Verify next to Verify Files. 
and this is going to ensure that none of the files have become corrupted. Because if they have, then that's going to cause issues with the game. Allow that to run and then launch the game. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope one of the methods in the video did help fix Fortnite on your computer. Like I said, check out the link in the description below to our website where we may have more methods. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.